So I think you just kind of addressed this a little bit, but a couple people are asking about you know, some examples, you know, particularly kind of cool or interesting <laughs> things that you've seen, particularly around the more predictive space. So you just right. talked about flight risk, you know, that's obviously a predictive example. Yeah. Um, other cases that you've seen where, uh, you know, that seems like a really interesting application of HR analytics. Yeah, so I'll just share two that uh, I'm familiar with more from reading the popular press, uh, and that's Xerox and JetBlue and some of the things that they're doing around uh, predicting either in the case of uh, Xerox attrition uh, and in the case of JetBlue, actually trying to predict flight attendant uh, absenteeism or attendance patterns. And it's all through the selection process in both cases, right? So looking for uh, assessments or new ways of thinking about uh, the selection process, collecting data to identify not just what leads someone to perform well, because that's sort of what we've always done, but perform well plus stay, and in the case of Xerox in the call center environment perform well and show up for work in the case of JetBlue, right? And both are extremely costly. In the case of Xerox, it costs quite a bit to continuously replace. Mm -hmm. And then in the JetBlue environment, flight attendants don't show up for work. You've got all sorts of problems with, you know, shuffling staffing around and then flight delays, dissatisfied customers and so on. Um, and so maybe the applications aren't so new in the sense that we've always long thought about how to best uh, predict performance and so forth, but it is a predictive application. It is trying to be um, thoughtful about something new and different about what employee, what kind of employees you might want in those environments, and then using the data to test test it and improve upon those practices. So, um, you know, those would be a couple of examples in the more predictive sense of we have data at time uh, A and we're trying to understand what's likely to happen at time B. Mm -hmm. 